Hello, I am Karina Miriam Bautista, and this is my spouse, Sergio Bautista. And um, we have lived with Ati Jean for so many years. And the children. And, and the children, the family. Uh, I, I would like to remember my sister as a very, 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 very wonderful person. We grew up together in our faith. I could still remember when she prayed to receive Christ. It was on my birthday, November 7th. And since that time on, she always would tell me, oh me, oh, always God is in control. God is so good and he knows everything. You have to cast all your cares upon him. He is never changing. He is yesterday the same and today and forever and I love that in my sister because I could remember her that she delivered three of my children mm -hmm. and when my husband was uh, very very sick and even me God used her to heal us she is a great physician and she has a great love for the Lord and every every time there are patients who come to her she would just help them even though she or the patients have no money just like me and she would do everything that she could in her own resources you know providing all the milk and clothes and medicines mm -hmm. uh, for my family especially for my children and I'm so glad that she's that and she's very strong in her faith we would go out uh, together with the pioneer girls of the Philippines and with the young people, you know, we're singing in in the churches, in the hospitals, and in in places where there's a need for lost souls to know Jesus Christ. That was her main uh, like objective in her life as a doctor, and. And I could still e even remember that she would volunteer in the Bible school as a, a librarian and uh, that she, she would, uh, as a student, she would teach Sunday school and she was a, a the first uh, actress for, for the church. Mm -hmm. And and she's very... Uh, I met her when I get married, me and my wife, and uh, she's a very extraordinary mother to me, mm -hmm. and caring to his children. Thank you. Uh, Menen, Ma, uh, Jericho. Jericho, and Cecil, I always remember them because they are so close to us, and we care, we, we help each other, you know, in their growing up. I was thankful that he was even uh, we were teacher, he is still very close to us, and we are also very close to her. I, she is really a good mother, a doctor, and is a friend also. A Christian, Christian worker. She is a military doctor, and she would uh, be sacrificing a lot. And she told me that uh, God knows and loves us so much that our sufferings will will end and that glory we can experience the life that Jesus Christ could give us and you too can have enjoy that if we surrender our lives to him and trust in him he I know that the Lord created us and gave us life just like my sister and I told her that Yes, uh, at Jean, uh, God is good, and He, she, He gives life and takes away life, and She will uh, comfort you in the end and relieve you from all your pains. And God said that death is an appointment, and the gift of God is eternal life and healing. Mm -hmm. And she got healed because that was I was asking God to heal her and change her kidneys and her heart but God said that I have to take her already and 
there will be no more tribulation in the of Puchir because he has overcome the world and all the problems and sufferings in life. Mm -hmm. And so I would like you, all the children and the friends and relatives, will miss Ate Jean, but someday we will see her again Amen. if we truly trust in the Lord. Yes. And we commit our lives to him every day and obey his will. And so you children, I would like you to have a strong love for the Lord as your mom has done and loving us all and that we too can love the Lord and serve the Lord just like what she did in the military or as a, a uh, citizen, uh, as a Christian, she would always be ready even though she was suffering a lot and God has tasted, given her the glory that only can be obtained by trusting the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, let me read this uh, very nice verse in Romans chapter 12 because I always read this one and it, it, it uh, reminds me how the Lord loves us. He said here on Romans 12 verse 1, I appeal to you therefore brothers by, by the mercies of God to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable able to open to God which is, which is your spiritual worship do not be conformed do not be conformed to this world but, but be transformed by by the renewing of your mind and that by testing you may be you may you may you may discern, discern what is the will of God. Yes. What is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes, um, my husband uh, just had a stroke yes. two times and the Lord did a miracle for him. When Ati Jean and Ati Celia were in the hospital, we were praying for the three of them and God survived them, you know. Uh, July, the last text that I received from ATG, August, September, October, November, she could not text anymore, but we kept praying, and they survived. She went home, just like at Celia, and, and my husband now is well. She can walk now again, he can talk, and he can read. He was dead when he arrived in the hospital, but God said that... He is the resurrection and the life. He who believes in him, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever believeth and believeth in him shall never die. Yeah. So that's what happened to my husband. The Lord is the shepherd. And though we walk through the valley of the shadows of death, we will fear no evil because the Lord is with us. Mm -hmm. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives until we dwell in the house of the Lord. So I always remember what she is telling me. To call upon the Lord and the Lord will answer and truly God has done a miracle and that is the miracle of life and salvation yeah yeah let me well it was great to be with God even we are God is sees in our heart yeah not on material things in this world I I see that in my life and I want to share this again to to the children and I always love them too but we, we always pray for them and I hope you continue to be faithful with the Lord because that's the way it works. Yeah. It does not work anymore with, with the material word of God. Ivy was also sending her sympathy and condolence. She wanted to come just like me. But you know, financially, uh, we're not there yet. But uh, as my sister has said, God will always provide so that uh, just remember, yes, uh, Ati Jean will be gone. It's just temporary. If we truly believe in the Lord, we will see her again and we'll meet her. And uh, we will uh, be experiencing that the faithfulness and love of the Lord is always new every morning. As Jerry Near always tells me, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. So, uh, be encouraged by that. And Joshua, Ian, my son, and Carcer James, they called me out and uh, 
they really wanted also to be with the family and they appreciate so many good things that Ate Jean, Ate Jean has done for them, for all of us. And uh, we know that the Lord has set the example and has mm -hmm. empowered us to obey Him and to be following His will so that we can touch lives of other people. So Ceci, be strong in the Lord and Jericho and Mune and, and the children. Wives, and the children. We love the you all. Uh, yes, words. that you will continue to help. Yeah. Thank you for, for those who helped my sister when she was in the hospital and when she was at the house, quivered at Seria, Sila Levi, Sila John, Jonathan. And the children. The children too. and their wives. I and know. It's hard to live in this world, but if you are with God, nothing is impossible. Everything is okay. Don't worry about hard work, hard lives apart. It is the way how the Lord works in us. We have to be work hard, serve, and love everybody. The friends of my Auntie Jean, my co-workers, I hope there are military men around. I know that my, my sister has really, really has been dedicated her life to the country and to many soldiers that she has helped as a, a doctor and as a radiologist. And so we thank you for your support for my sister in the job Fine. and also in the neighborhood. All the friends in the church, Capital City Baptist Church, we really love you and thank you and appreciate thank you for you, all Pastor. your prayers and encouragement. Sa May God Amen. continue to use you and Amen. bless Amen. you in every way that yes. God so love us all. Yes. And that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That's the essence of Christmas. That yes. he was born. That Give his life to serve us. Live again. To demonstrate and so how we love each other. And she died, but she will live again forever. She is alive. Jesus is alive. And you too, we too, all of us yes. can be alive again if we repent for our sins and believe in him, trust him as personal Savior and Lord. Just like what Atijit did on November 7, 1965. Thank and we you. got baptized in 1966 to live for the Lord. Thank you very much.